All right, great. Okay. Welcome, welcome to Yin Yoga. So I am a little bit late. Apologies, apologies. I lost track of time. Um, I'm, I like woke up like really good. I have been sleeping like through the night, and I don't know. It has that hasn't happened to me, you know, all winter. So I'm actually like amazed. Um, <sighs> I know it's because I painted the kitchen and the kitchen is the root chakra so everything now is rooted and uh, I can benefit from sleeping well. Alright, wonderful. So today we are doing yin yoga. Um, so like I mentioned yesterday, this week is all about uh, recovery and resting and light stuff uh, simply because I have uh, shlimaki on my triceps. Uh, shlimaki is bruises, slimes in my language. Um, so we're going to do some HIIT training this week. I just haven't yet decided where I'm going to fit it in. Um, yeah, so yin yoga is all about healing that feminine energy, um, especially since uh, right now as a collective, we are healing a lot of masculine uh, energies that are attached to um, destruction and war and power and greed and addictions and very uh, surface level stuff that has kind of put the feminine's energy into the dark and experiencing a lot of deep emotions so we're going to nurture now the feminine energy inwards by doing some yin yoga I would like also to mention that I am sporting Soul Food Fitness crop top sweater. So for all of you females that like my style, I really recommend that you purchase below in the About Me section in the store. As well as I'm sporting Astoria uh, fitness leggings that you can get a discount of 15% off if you just head down to that store below. Alright, cool. So. Um, let's begin. It's a very nice relaxing flow. There are some intermediate um, po uh, positions, moves, whatever. Um, so if you're just having trouble getting into them, just take your time and, and, and go slow. And uh, it is a 50 minute flow with a seven minute savasana at the end in order to have uh, time for meditation until I start making my own meditations. All right, let's begin. Let me know if you guys like my new yoga uh, setup here. I'm trying to um, see if what works better. You know what I mean? Oh, all right, let's do it. Begin in child's pose, knees wide, Hips drawing back and down, and arms stretching forward. Start to settle in as you deepen your breath and relax into the floor. Ooh. Wow. Yin is a passive practice that allows extra time for the connective tissues to release. For each pose, find your first point of resistance and stay there for a while. After a minute or so, you may find that things have released and you can go a bit deeper. If so, find your next point of resistance and then pause there. Keep the hips on the heels and slowly walk the hands in as you roll the spine up. Rise up onto your knees and step your right foot forward. Sweep the arms overhead. Keep the low back long and exhale find one legged camel. Left hand reaches back for the left heel.
gently come back up, big breath in, then have a seat on your heels. One-legged camel, second side. Rise up and step your left foot forward, arms overhead. Keep lengthening the low back and exhale. Reach back with your right hand and find your right heel. back up and then have a seat on your heels. Ankle stretch. Take the hands behind the hips, keep the hips on the heels, and begin to lean back until the knees hover off the mat. If you like, bring the hands to the knees as you balance here and stretch the tops of the feet and ankles. the knees to the mat, hands to thighs. Slowly make your way to forward fold. Step to the top of your mat and fold over your legs. Feet hip width apart. Interlace your hands behind your head. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold. Stay folded over and release your hands to the mat. Separate your feet wide for Malasana squat. Hips sink low, hands at prayer. Exhale, forward fold. Release your hands down 
straighten your legs. Hands to the mat, step back to plank. Elbows point straight back, lower down to your belly. Find goal post arms. Align your elbows with your shoulders and make 90 degree angles with your elbows. Feel the shoulders soften toward the mat for a few breaths. <clears throat> Thread the needle, turn your left palm up, and slide your left arm under your right. Send the right arm long in front, then gently lower everything down. Find goal post arms again. Thread the needle. Lift your chest and slide your right arm under your left armpit. Then soften everything to the mat. Slowly return to goal post arms. Lower your arms back by your sides. Just rest here for a moment. Find staff bent knees. Press yourself up and have a seat on your mat. Soles of the feet to the floor. Janus or Sasana variation. Right leg out to the side, left leg bent, heel towards your glute. Press your hands down into the mat and position the sitting bones directly underneath you. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist to your right and fold over your right leg.
slowly walk your hands back in and return to staff bent knees. Left side, Janu Shirsasana variation. Left leg out to the side, right leg bent, heel close to your glute. Make sure you're sitting up on your sitting bones. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, fold over your left leg. Slowly rise up and find staff bent knees again. Half saddle, straighten your left leg long on the mat and bend your right leg to bring your heel by your glute. Use your right hand to spin the right calf muscle to the outside of the leg. Then place the hands behind you and walk them back. You might eventually come down onto the forearms or recline all the way back. For an even deeper stretch, draw the left knee up to the chest and hug it in. Make your way up. Return to staff bent knees. Half saddle, second side. Extend the right leg long and bend the left leg until the heel comes by your glute. Shift the left calf muscle to the outside of the leg. Then start to walk the hands back. You might eventually come down onto the forearms or recline all the way back. If this feels good, try drawing the right knee up into the chest.
slowly rise up. Find staff bent knees. Seated star, soles of the feet together, knees open wide, then slide the feet away. Take a breath in and sit up tall. Hinge at the hips and fold over the legs. Exhale. Maybe let the head soften toward the feet. Rise up. Close your knees and place your feet on the mat. Deer pose. Right leg in front, left leg behind. To deepen the stretch in the front hip stretch, move the right heel away from you. To lessen the stretch, move it towards you. Maybe bring the back thigh parallel to the front edge of your mat and the back shin parallel to the side edge of your mat. Square the hips. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Then exhale, walk the hands forward.
slowly rise back up. Dear twist fold, on your next inhale, elongate the spine. Let the breath out and twist to the right. Take a breath in. Feel free to stay here or as you exhale, fold over your right leg. Return to staff bent knees, rise up and bring the back leg around to the front. Deer pose, left leg in front, right leg behind. To increase sensation in the front hip, move the left heel away from you. For less sensation, move it toward you. Maybe bring the back thigh parallel to the front edge of your mat and the back shin parallel to the side edge of your mat. Square the hips. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, crawl the hands forward. Slowly lift back up. Deer twist fold. Take a breath in and lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist left. Take a breath in, sit tall. Stay here or as you exhale, fold over your left leg.
staff bent knees, bring back leg around to the front. Gomukhasana, lay your left leg down and sweep your right leg on top. Gomukhasana, side stretch, keep the legs crossed. Inhale, sweep your left arm up high. Then exhale, big side stretch over to the right. Come back to center, arm down. Flex both feet, plant your hands on either side of your hips and inhale to lengthen your spine. Then exhale, start to walk your hands forward and let yourself fold over your legs. Press gently into the palms and let the outer hips root down. Soften your face and breathe deeply. Use your hands and slowly come back up to a seat. Bring your hands behind you, untangle your legs, and plant your feet down. Maybe let your knees swing side to side. Gomukhasana, second side. Lay your right leg down and drape your left leg on top. Gomukhasana side stretch. Keep the legs crossed. Inhale, reach your right arm up by your ear. Exhale, big stretch over to the left.
Maybe reach a little farther with the left hand to twist deeper. Rise back up to tabletop, hands under shoulders, thread the needle, second side, right arm high, inhale, exhale, thread it through, right ear to mat, breathe here. melt into the floor. Come back up, tabletop. Make your way onto your back. Plant your feet down and relax your shoulders. Extend both legs to the sky for plow pose. Start to lift your hips up and your whole back up and let your feet land on the floor behind you. If your hamstrings are tight, just soften your knees here. Maybe walk your elbows in and press your hands into your low back. Slowly lower your back onto the mat, point your knees at the sky, and plant your feet down. Supine twist. Draw your right knee into your chest and hug it in. Left leg long. Take a big breath in here. Exhale. Drape the knee across your body to the left. Send your right arm to the right. Turn your gaze to the right and settle in.
cat pulling its tail. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Maybe grab the right big toe with the left piece fingers. As you exhale, bend the left knee and reach back with the right hand to take hold of the left foot. Supine bent knees, return to center, feet on the mat. Second side, right leg long, left knee to chest, squeeze it in, inhale. Lay the knee over to the right side, exhale. Left arm goes left, gaze goes left, relax into the floor. Cat pulling its tail. Breathe in and extend the left leg. Perhaps wrap your right piece fingers around the left big toe. Bend the right knee and sweep the left hand behind to take hold of the right foot. Exhale.
supine bent knees. Release the stretch and return to center. Soles of the feet to the mat. Happy baby. Drop both knees in wider than your rib cage. Reach for the outer feet or the hamstrings and exhale as you pull down on the legs, flattening your back against the mat. Release and squeeze your knees into your chest. Take one last inhale. Exhale, Shavasana. Lay the legs long. Let the arms come down by the hips. Turn the palms up and settle in.
Begin to deepen your breath and bring some gentle movement back to your fingers and your toes. Namaste. Understands her. It's good. Thanks. How are you? You have come at the end of the stream. That's good. Did you watch the flow? Did you do the flow? I have to read uh, your replies on my computer because it's all a little bit uh, misaligned to make it work. That's too bad. I'm doing relaxing yoga right now. Well, hopefully you can make it tomorrow. Uh, I don't recall what I'm doing tomorrow, but I believe it is a gentle vinyasa at 11 a.m. EST. Wonderful, wonderful. I hope you guys enjoyed my yin yoga. It was very healing for me. Um, so again, this week is all about healing, uh, simply because I have you know some bruises on my tricep and all of those things, and I am healing my knee right now. It's a lot more sore than it was when I first started and it's quite frustrating for me <clears throat> yeah I mean it's kind of interesting how the really like relaxing flows I receive the most views like um, it puts things into perspective, you know, like we always think that if we move faster or we do the harder things that that is actually what's going to bring more attention. But <clears throat> I've noticed that I get the most views when I'm like moving the slowest. Like yesterday I was sleeping and I wake up and there's like six people watching me and I'm like, oh, I wonder if they're actually meditating with me. So it's pretty nice. The whole point is to be relaxed and at peace and meditating and connecting with your chakras. Right now we're in Pisces season, so it's all about connecting with our spirituality. So everybody is craving healing energy and not so much like destructive energy that causes uh, damage. 
So even the fastest workouts, though healthy, still cause damage to the body, like the muscles have to heal, etc. So I feel like people now are craving a lot of healing energy, so I mean Yeah. I guess I guess you were meditating with me. Well, that's nice. Alright, see. Okay, so that is the end of my stream. Um, there's another yoga tomorrow. I am planning on starting um, astrology streams either this week or next week. Um, it's going to be very like journalistic. So my plan is that I'm going to look at um, astrology charts of uh, important people from history. We'll start off with history people and then maybe we'll move along into like famous individuals, but more focused on like <clears throat> uh, historic individuals or political leaders of our time right now or history and kind of looking at the events that surpassed at that time as well and just kind of creating like a little bit of analysis uh, it's gonna be like an intellectual part of who I am so it would be really cool if you guys would kind of join and, and um, engage and do those things um, if you guys notice I do tarot divination readings twice a week that's great it's very energetic so this would be more focused on um, analysis focused on the planets and um, the placements in the sky the map of the sky and the time of like an event for example and then the chart of let's say like you know what I mean one of the main leaders in the world um, to kind of like take a look at where we are repeating in history certain habits perhaps certain things we can change, certain things that we can uncover from the past that may have been hidden, for example, you can find a lot of those things in astrology. So either this week or next week, I'm gonna start doing that once a week. Um, and I'm gonna have to figure out how to like do a double screen so you guys can see the astrology chart that I would be kind of using on my iPad and then my face on camera so I'm gonna I'm gonna figure that stuff out so that should be fun yeah I think it's gonna be super interesting slowly but surely I will introduce all of my amazing talents and uh, create a nice schedule so that you guys can always have something different to look at all right great so I will be heading out. Thank you so much for uh, tuning into the yoga. So again, tomorrow there's yoga uh, at 11. Please take a look at the about me section to kind of take a look at my store. So you guys can support and purchase anything that you would like. I have girl clothing and boy clothing. So what I mean by that, men clothing and women clothing. I'm still a child up here, so. Um, and I also have a wish list so you guys can gift me things and support my streams in order for me to thrive and be better at what I do. All right. Thank you so much. And talk soon. All right. Thanks so much. Understander for coming through into my channel. Yeah. You have yourself a great day as well. Mm -hmm.